okay, let's get ready to send this to my client. So you're going to put your client's email address in right here. Now my suggestion on this type of announcement is that you hide the email address so it doesn't appear on the listing announcement itself. Now there's two spots, a client email address here as well as here. Your client may have a business email address versus a personal email address. There may be a husband and a wife, so they may have two different email addresses as well. So put one or both of them here. If you're using a web-based email system, this box is for you. If you're using Outlook, you're going to simply click Next and we're going to open up your Outlook and we've created a letter for you to send to your seller. I'm going to go ahead and use this webmail version so I can display it uh, on the page for you. So this is if you have a web-based email system like Gmail, Outlook Web, Yahoo, AOL, etc. This is what that letter looks like that we wrote for you. Now again, if you like, the, like what it says, just leave it as is, or you are certainly welcome to write your own letter. We say here, I have created a listing announcement for you to share with your friends and family. This social network is very important when trying to sell your home. Your friends may know someone who is looking to buy in your neighborhood and can refer a potential buyer. The announcement contains a letter to your friends, which I wrote on your behalf. You're welcome to use this letter or simply write your own. This will take just a few minutes of your time. Please click the link below and send the announcement to your email address book. Please note that you control the distribution of this email. I do not collect any email addresses or names. And then there's the link that is specific to this seller and this particular property. You can change anything in the letter you'd like, except don't delete this link. This is how your seller comes over to our homeowner interface. Let me show you what that looks like. Now this is the homeowner interface specifically for the seller. You'll see that this is a shortened version of our Create Announcement Wizard for you. All your seller has the ability to modify is that seller letter if you've given them the ability to do so. Otherwise, they can't modify anything on the announcement. They can simply preview it and send it to their friends. Now there is an important comment about their privacy here. We do not collect your seller's email addresses. This is a personal private web page for them to share with their friends and family and they control the distribution, whether they use their own email system to forward it out to their contacts or if they use social media sites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and others. We will not have access to the email distribution list and neither will you. This is a personal private page and they will feel confident, confident using it that we're not going to spam their friends. If they have any questions on how to use a share button, we've got a little link that will walk them through that. If they have any questions, your information will be displayed right here. Now in this scenario, we didn't allow the seller to edit the message. If we'd allowed them to edit the message, there'd be one more step in here, which would pull up the create announcement with, which would put, I'll pull up that, that text editor, um, with the letter that we wrote for them and giving them the ability to modify it. Now we're going to get ready to send this to the seller's email inbox. They'll be able to distribute this announcement in multiple ways. They can come up here and preview the announcement. Here's what it looks like. They can use the share buttons to share it on their social media sites. They may choose to send it out through email, which many people communicate with friends and family through email. So you'll see here that we've created an HTML image of this announcement reduced in size. When they click on save and continue after they have verified their email address is correct, we will email them this image. It will go into their email inbox and then they will simply forward it to any of their friends. Now the beauty of Announce My Listing is that we have a technology called Announce Sync. Announce Sync will essentially sync your listing data everywhere this information is being displayed. For example, if your seller or you share this listing on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter, for example, and the price changes, we will automatically with that RETS data feed every three hours update the web page and display the current information on it. 
Most impressively is that this HTML image, which is embedded into the email that's been sent to your seller and that your seller may forward out to 50 to 100 of, her, of their friends. Their friends may then forward it off to their friends, which we're hoping that they'll do, right? The image in the body of the email will also dynamically refresh any time anything changes on this page. So if you come back into your listing and make any modifications and save it, every place this listing has been distributed, this image will refresh automatically. That's Announce Sync. It's really cool technology. There isn't anyone else who is doing that, and it's a technology that we're in the process of patenting.